We recently celebrated the 30th anniversary of the franchise, but five years ago, when we celebrated the 25th anniversary, we were able to see a special episode featuring Tommy Oliver. In this episode, we had the opportunity to meet Tommy's new morpher for the first time, which allowed him to transform into all the forms he had previously represented. We know that Tommy Oliver is the ranger with most transformations in the entire franchise and that he has been part of several teams. This legendary ranger has used many different powers and in this special episode, to celebrate 25 years of the franchise, he was able to show several of these powers. In order to achieve this, he used his Master Morpher, in which he only needs to change the power coin and with this, he achieves the transformation. Each transformation allows him to use everything included in that specific power, such as weapons, swords, and obviously the suit. When we fans saw this morpher we were shocked because this is something special since the rangers that have different powers, now have a solution to use them all in the same fight. In that special episode it was amazing to be able to see all those transformations and it would have been great if other rangers had the opportunity to have a morpher like this. Unfortunately, other rangers didn't have that opportunity to have it, but now we fans can have that opportunity since they published some images of the new Master Morpher of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. We don't know when it will be on sale since these images are not from the official website, but according to the research we did, it is possible that it will be officially released in September. There are even websites that are accepting a pre-order and say they will have the product available by September. We will not share the links to these sites as we don't know if these sales are real, and we don't want fans to be scammed. Another person also posted a video showing the entire product and the different effects it has. This morpher has different effects depending on the currency you have at that moment, but it also has certain effects when you do not have any currency. The colors change depending on the coin as it shows the color of the suit of each power and we can also hear different sounds, which I will not put for copyright reasons. In the sound effects, we can also hear the voice of Tommy Oliver and I think this is one of the best things that this morpher has. The interior base is green, this is why the Green Ranger coin is possibly the one that will have the best colors because although the lights change colors, they do not manage to modify well that green color of the interior base. Despite this, I think that each color looks excellent, although I would have liked that the White Ranger coin would have had a better white light effect since due to the green base it is not noticeable, and it only looks like a green light. I must say that the gold color of the Morpher is amazing, it has that shiny effect very well done and it doesn't look like a simple plastic toy. The design of the coins is excellent, although the color they have is not the best as they still look like a piece of plastic and not a real power coin. There are many designs of these coins all over the internet and I think they could have done a better job or perhaps given them an opaque color to make them look real. The good part is that each coin can be easily changed and we assume they have something special on the back so the morpher can recognize the difference in order to change the effects. I want to analyze the packaging as this is very important because many collectors prefer to leave the product inside the box, so the packaging should always have a good design. In the front of the box, we have an image of Tommy Oliver with the same clothes he was wearing in that special episode to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the franchise. This image is not a real photo, but a drawing and we must admit that it is excellent art. This design has a great resemblance to the actor, so we must congratulate the artist no matter how he did this. Then, we can see the Morpher, which has the Green Ranger power coin and I think this is very accurate. Although Tommy Oliver had many transformations, we must admit that his most famous transformation is the Green Ranger and then follows the White Ranger. In this, we are not talking about the most loved transformation, but the most famous and, 
This was his first transformation, so it was obvious that this was the coin they should use to promote the product. In the box there are many details about the product, but there is something that catches my attention and that is that it says that this is a product for over 18 years old. Normally, these products are considered as toys and are always recommended for infants, but this morpher is apparently only for adults. In the back of the box, we can see the other parts of the product including the base where we will put the morpher and the coins. I love the morpher, the coins, the color effects, the sounds, but I must say that this base is horrible. When a product is made to collect, it is important all that it includes and one of those things is the base where we will put the main product. In this picture of the box maybe the base doesn't look so bad, but later I will show you another picture of the entire product out of the box and you will be able to see how terrible it looks. In this picture the coins look spectacular, although some fans were a little uncomfortable with the way they put the coins in this picture. Since this is the official photo to promote the product in its box, fans think they should have placed the coins in chronological order. This means in the order in which Tommy was acquiring all his powers. Right now, we can see that the Green Ranger coin is in the morpher, so this is the first one and it is well placed. Of the coins below, the first coin we are presented with is the Black Ranger coin from Dino Thunder, basically the last transformation Tommy had. Then, we have the Zeo Power coin, which is also poorly placed, but has one of the best designs. The coin in the center is the one that represents the turbo power, and it doesn't have the correct location either. The last two coins are those of the White Ranger, one of the Tiger, and one of the Falcon. If we wanted to place these coins in chronological order, then we would leave the Green Ranger coin in the Morpher, then from left to right we would place the White Tiger coin, the Falcon coin, the Zeo coin, then the Turbo coin, and finish with the Dino Thunder coin. This is the picture I promised you all and here we can see the product in a homemade image without having a professional photograph with Photoshop retouching. Now we can see that the base is not as dark as it is presented in the box picture and the color of the coins is also different. Obviously, the colors can vary depending on the light where you are taking the picture, but this is evidence of the raw version of the product. Here we can see that the base just looks like a piece of plastic, and they could have created a better one. We must also highlight the positive parts, the morpher looks amazing and its gold-colored shine is impressive. Write in the comments if you are waiting for this morpher master, like this video and subscribe to get different Power Rangers transformations.